From being a fighter who craves chaos in the ring, to his controversial hangouts with the Chechen Republic's alleged warlord, here's the real reason people hate Justin Gaethje. The biggest one is that this guy is a magnet for violence. According to one of the best sports experts, Jack Slack, in a job where people avoid getting injured as much as possible, Gaethje is a hypnotic fighter who loves getting his hands dirty. Literally. No doubt UFC is a sport where fighters need to learn how to throw technical jabs or throw around some fancy moves to make waves on social media. But Justin, the highlight Gaethje doesn't care much about that. Taking the old school road, this fighter has talked a lot about using his kill or be killed approach, like a modern day gladiator. You see, dodging punches is one way of avoiding being hit, but Gaethje takes it to a whole new level by absorbing blows on his gloves like a warrior. It's clear this bull likes running headfirst into the ring no matter how many hits he takes. For this, critics have labeled him as reckless, but Justin thinks it's a great strategy since it puts him close enough to hit his rival and dish out maximum damage. It's this Hulk mindset that many fighters don't like about him and is the reason they're scared too. I mean, wouldn't you be scared if your opponent didn't have an off switch? Think about this, Tony Ferguson was riding a 12-fight winning streak before he came face-to-face -face with Justin Gaethje in 2020, and it was the way Tony lost that shocked the world. The highlight kept coming at him with insane hooks until the referee stopped the fight. Ferguson's face was so bloody and swollen that you could hardly recognize him. Hell, this dude was rushed to the hospital, and it was later revealed that he had suffered a broken eye socket. Horrifying stuff, I tell ya. Eddie Alvarez once told ESPN that during one of his fights with Justin, both of them had started trash-talking, and Alvarez told him to eat that, while continuously throwing punches his way. But despite Gaethje being exhausted, he looked back at him with ice-cold eyes and said, I love it. Jeez. That must have sent shivers down Eddie's spine. But while the highlight may have given in to his rival's trash-talking this time, you best believe he's hated for either being too cringe with his words or taking them too far. No doubt before every fight, fighters tend to throw ego-boosting verbal jabs. Gotta build that hype, right? But sometimes it can become super weird too. Take Gaethje's UFC debut against Michael Johnson, for example. From the moment they stepped into the octagon, their trash-talking felt so forced and unnatural. Even though Justin was the least cringeworthy of the two, his attempts to talk up his chances didn't hit quite the mark. But when the highlight does manage to hit the nail on the head, his words can be brutal, especially when it comes to his rivalry with Conor McGregor. Back in 2019, he trashed the Irishman by calling him a father and human. Then in 2021, when McGregor lost to Dustin Poirier at UFC 257, Gaethje said nothing makes him happier than seeing a piece of get put down. Sheesh. No wonder this guy has rubbed many fighters the wrong way. And the trash talking gets even weirder, like the time Justin was having a showdown with Tony Ferguson at UFC 249. Get this? Before the match started, the fighter straight up asked Ferguson to break his nose. Yep, you heard that right. According to the highlight himself, he'd been waiting for someone to break his nose for almost 12 years. And it was all part of his sneak plan. Now, if Tony had actually done the deed, the UFC would be responsible for giving him a nose job. Gaethje even admitted he'd regret getting hit because it hurts like hell, but he was ready to go through that if it meant getting a brand new nose. And this dude is so confident that he even told TMZ about this interaction later. Some people criticized the UFC for being too soft on this guy after this happened, but the question is, why would they? When Justin brings them big bucks with every fight, which is good for him, but it doesn't sit right with other fighters. The thing is, Gaethje is a huge performance bonus machine. And ever since he signed with the UFC in 2017, he's won either a performance of the night or a fight of the night bonus, becoming the first fighter in UFC history to take home an extra paycheck in each of his first seven outings. It's clear he's an electric talent, and considering how violently he fights, he's likely to take home an extra lump of cash for his brutal finishes every time. But the problem is, if you're any other fighter who's hoping to score an extra $50,000 for their family, finding out that Justin Gaethje is also featuring on the same card means bye-bye Big Benjamins. Considering that, not only does his track record make fighters jealous, but it's also the huge difference in their pay that's annoying as hell. It's true that money and how well you do in fights go hand in hand, but you know what sometimes shows up for an occasional third wheeling? Political support, folks. And for UFC fighters who are actual role models for their fans, the side they pick in politics matters. Sadly though, in Gaethje's case, his support for Donald Trump in the past has turned many people off. Turns out he wasn't even shy about supporting him. 
But when Trump held a campaign event in Nevada back in 2020, guess who showed up in the crowd? Yep, Justin Gaethje, along with Dana White, Henry Cejudo, and Colby Covington. The reason why this sent shockwaves in the MMA world was because the highlight never said he supports the Republicans. And when people saw him at this event enjoying the show and taking pictures while cheering louder than anyone in the room, their perception of him started changing. And let me tell you, it wasn't good. Later on, Justin was also criticized along with White for going all out to help Trump in his re-election bid. And guess what Gaethje got in return? Trump openly talked about his upcoming title fight with Khabib Nurmagomedov, calling it the best fight we'll ever get. Now, that's some high-level promotion. The only downside is that it's a big turnoff for half of the viewers. But what's even worse than supporting a former problematic political leader is being buddies with a Chechen Republic warlord. Yikes. It all started when Dave Portnoy shared a video of him, celebrating Pimblet's win at the cage side in 2022, after which an intense Twitter bout started, when Gaethje claimed that Portnoy was favoring Pimblet, even though most people thought he lost his fight. But then, Portnoy hit back harder by bringing up the time the highlight Kamaru Usman and Henry Cejudo were spotted with the leader of the Chechen Republic, Ramzan Kadyrov. It didn't just stop there, though. Dave even accused the fighter of supporting an actual warlord who's allegedly committed extremely cruel crimes. This is where Justin started digging his own grave by denying ever having met the dude. But here's the thing. As soon as he said that, many fans started flooding Twitter with pictures of Gaethje hanging out with Kadyrov's son. They were even seen trying out guns together. And it's not like the UFC fighter hasn't seen those pictures, because he'd even replied to one of them saying, That was fun. No wonder people didn't hold back when they called the highlight out for blatantly lying. Basically, the reason why hanging out with Kadyrov was such a big deal was because he was a Putin supporter. And at the time, he was under US sanctions which came after Russia invaded Ukraine. It was also confusing why the UFC fighter would choose to meet with the alleged warlord when the MMA promotion was trying to discourage these ties. He also, Kadyrov is known for holding anti-gay purges in Chechnya and has been criticized by LGBT groups all over the world. On top of that, this man has even given the go-ahead for sexist policies in the Republic to exist. From the looks of it, those pictures of him with the highlight sound like a PR disaster for the fighter. But what made fans furious was Gaethje admitting to taking a picture with Kadyrov's teenage son at his birthday party but still denying that he met the Chechen Republic leader. There's no doubt Justin's reputation suffered a massive hit because of this. But people also called him out for getting into a Twitter fight with Portnoy. Some labeled him insecure, while others called him a loser. Man, that's not a good look for anyone, let alone a famous UFC fighter. So there you have it. From his controversial hangouts with the Chechen Republic's alleged warlord, to being a fighter who craves for chaos in the ring, these were the real reason people hate Justin Gaethje.